to present a talk here. So the title of my talk is Symbolic Powers of Age Ideals of Weighted Oriented Graphs. You have already seen uh, a talk uh, in, the simil in the same topic given by Manohar in the morning session. So I will continue. Uh, see how he has already uh, set up many things for me. So I will uh, first start with the definition of the uh, symbolic power. So in a Notharian ring, if I is an ideal, then the nth symbolic power is defined as the, in this way, where we are uh, considering the extension of this uh, in the local, uh, localization and then contracting it back. And we are varying this intersection over all the associated primes. So this is uh, the more general definition of the symbolic power. And then there are certain properties that symbolic power satisfies. Uh, first of all, that the ordinary power is always sitting inside the uh, symbolic power. And then if A is greater than or equal to B, in that case, Ath symbolic power is sitting inside the Bth symbolic power. And we have this property as well. Now, in general, uh, this ordinary power is sitting inside the symbolic power, but it may not be an equality. So why the symbolic power is important? That is because of this uh, theorem by Nagata and Zairiski. It gives you some geometrical importance why the symbolic powers are important. So Zagata, Nagata and Zairiski prove that if you, are in a, uh, if you have a perfect field and I is a radical ideal in this polynomial ring, in that case the nth symbolic power is nothing but the collection of uh, all monomials, uh, all polynomials, which vanish up to order n along this variety of this ideal. So that is why uh, symbolic powers catches more information than the ordinary powers, and that's why it is uh, important uh, in, to study. So now, uh, as the uh, title suggests, we are studying the symbolic power of weighted oriented graph. So let me give you first some graph theoretic uh, preliminaries for this. So first I will talk about simple graph and then I will go into the uh, weighted oriented graph. So what is a simple graph? A simple graph is nothing but an ordered pair where we are ha uh, uh, having this uh, two sets. One is the set of vertices that I have denoted by V of G and EG denotes the set of uh, edges, which is nothing but the two elements subsets of the set of vertices. Now, uh, when, uh, so in this talk, what we are trying to do, we have this, uh, we are trying to uh, uh, consider the uh, algebraic objects coming from the graph theory. So we start with a graph, and then with that graph, we will try to associate one ideal, and then we will study the invariants of, algebraic invariants of that ideal using the uh, graph theoretic invariants of that graph. So the ideal that we will study here is the age ideal. So what is the age ideal? So age ideal is generated if you start with the graph G, then you consider first the polynomial ring in uh, as many variables, as many vertices you are having in the graph. And then in that polynomial ring, you define this ideal IG, which is generated by the edges of this graph. So this algebraic object, we will study the properties of this ideal using the properties of the graph, graph theoretical invariants. So uh, let us see one example here first. So here this graph is this uh, triangle x1, x2, x3. It has three vertices. So then, uh, then corresponding age ideal will be generated by these three edges, x1, x2, x2, x3, and x3, x1. So this was the simple graph, and it has uh, the age ideal of a simple graph has already been studied a lot in the literature, and many things are already known. In fact, the sim description of the symbolic powers are also known for some classes, and uh, regularity and all those things has been studied extensively. So recently, we are concentrating on this weighted oriented graph. So what is weighted oriented graph? So a weighted oriented graph is a triplet where we have this set of vertices and also we have edges. And then we have one function, which is uh, a weight function. So we are giving uh, weight now to each of the vertices. And not only that, we, have, we are giving also an orientation to each of the edges. So that's how we are considering this weighted oriented graph. And then we are associating 
age ideal corresponding to this uh, weighted oriented graph which is defined as xi xj wj where wj is the weight of the vertex xj and this uh, we have an orientation to this edge so the edge is directed from uh, xi to xj then we will consider the generator to be xi xj to the power wj so this is the edge ideal we are considering for this graph so let us see one example here so both of this graphs are basically triangle but now in the first graph d1 you can see that i have given weights 2 to each of these vertices and i have this arrows in this particular direction so for the first one you can see the age ideal is generated by x1 x2 square as we are having an arrow from x1 to x2 and then we are having arrow from x2 to x3 so that's why we are having the generator x2 x3 square and the other one we are having the arrow from x3 to x1 so that's what we are getting this generator x3 x1 square whereas in the second uh, graph we have given this x1 uh, the weights of x1 we have given one and in that case you can see this will be the age ideal and in this case you can see that um, if we change the uh, direction uh, sorry if we change the direction of the arrows or the weights of the vertices then the uh, age ideal changes so it is very much dependent on uh, so it is very much dependent on the arrows as well as on the weights so it is uh, that's why it is uh, difficult to study as well now uh, we will try to uh, give simpler description of this symbolic powers so the description of the symbolic powers for ordinary graph was already known so the following theorem by bosch uh, in 2016 he proved that if you are in a um, graph and i is the age ideal and this v1 v2 vr are the minimal vertex cover then this i can be written as intersection of this prime ideals where this prime ideals corresponds to this minimal vertex cover so this with this uh, decomposition we see that the mth symbolic power of i has this simpler uh, simpler expression um, which is nothing but the power of the primes mth power of the primes and their intersection so whatever the definition we have seen in the beginning for symbolic powers now it simplifies if we are considering the age ideal so now we have seen that for sim, uh, ordinary graph this minimal vertex cover plays an important role in order to describe the symbolic power so we try to investigate what will play role if i consider the age ideal of a weighted oriented graph and in that case we have seen that this minimal vertex cover we have to replace with strong vertex cover of the graph and in that case so if we replace this uh, minimal vertex cover with strong vertex cover then we have some kind of similar result that we were having for the uh, simple graph and then we uh, cooper uh, in 2017 have proved that in this case also we have a simpler description of the symbolic power so this ss symbolic power can be written as intersection of this powers of this ideals which are coming from the basically the uh, corresponding to the maximal strong vertex covers of this graph t now the question that we are uh, interested in this when the symbolic power and ordinary power are equal for all values of s and uh, for simple graph uh, this was a famous result by aaron simis he proved that the ordinary and symbolic power are equal for all is greater than equal to 1 if and only if g is bipartite so it completely classifies the class of graph for which this will be equal and this is necessary and sufficient condition also so then we try to investigate whether we can give some similar criteria for the age ideal of the weighted oriented graph or not and in this direction we have first proved that if d is a weighted oriented graph such that the vertex set is a strong vertex cover in that case the 
symbolic power and ordinary powers are equal. But then we ask whether the converse is also true or not. And then we see that under certain condition it will be, that I will come to that later. So it is already uh, known that if you uh, have a odd cycle uh, present in a graph then of length 2n plus 1, in that case n plus 1 is ordinary and symbolic power are different. We see that this, uh, if this will be true in the, for the age ideal of the weighted oriented graph under certain condition. So if the vertex set of this cycle of length 2n plus 1 which is present in this uh, weighted oriented graph satisfies this condition in that case also the similar result like the, for the uh, underlying graph will hold, uh, holds true for the weighted oriented graph as well. Then we prove that if you, uh, your graph has uh, every edge of this weighted oriented graph lies in some induced odd cycle, in that case the whole vertex set is a strong vertex cover if and only if the symbolic powers and ordinary powers are equal. We have already proved that if VD is a strong vertex cover, in this case equality holds. Now we are saying that the opposite, the other direction is also true, but with the condition that each age of D lies in some induced odd cycle. And as an application of this theorem, we are able to see that in odd cycles, complete graphs, click sum of a finite number of odd cycles and complete graphs and complete impartite graphs. In all these classes of graphs, each age lies in some induced odd cycle, so we can apply this theorem for all this class of graphs. Next, we have uh, proved that uh, if we are having an unicyclic graph with a unique odd cycle of length 2n plus 1, in that case the symbolic powers and ordinary powers will be equal for all is greater than or equal to 2 if and only if the weight of uh, those vertices which, whose degree is greater than or equal to 2 has to be greater than or equal to 2. In this case also this equality holds and it is an if and only if as well. Then we also have uh, in the further direction we have proved that previous result was for unicyclic graph and this one we have seen that if you have a naturally oriented even cycle in that case uh, of length not equal to 4 in that case this equality holds if and only if all the vertices of D have non-trivial weights. That means all the vertices of this graph has to, has to have weight greater than or equal to 2. And uh, for uh, length of cycle 4, in this case this will be equality if one of these conditions are satisfied. Either all the vertices have non-trivial weights or one vertex has non-trivial weight or only uh, two non-consecutive vertices have non-trivial weights. Further, uh, in order to compare uh, this uh, uh, symbolic power of uh, ordinary graph and the weighted oriented graph, we have used this map. So we have defined this map from the polynomial ring to itself, where V plus D is the set of vertices which are sync. The sync has already been defined in the uh, talk of Manohar. And U is a subset of this V plus D. In that case, we are defining this map. We are sending XJ to XJ if XJ doesn't belongs to U and XJ to XJ to the power WJ if XJ belongs to U. So in this way, what we are trying to do is that uh, if you see that if I re take my U to be equal to V plus D, in that case, I is the age ideal of this weighted oriented graph and D prime becomes the underlying graph and I tilde becomes the age ideal of the underlying graph. And in that case, we have seen that this ordinary powers and the symbolic powers behaves in a similar way. And using this map, we are able to prove that the age ideal of the weighted oriented, uh, for the weighted oriented graph, symbolic power and the ordinary power will be equal if and only if they are equal for the underlying graph. And similarly, using this result, we are able to prove the generalization of Simi's result for weighted oriented graph. We have proved that D is a weighted oriented graph where the vertices of V plus D are sync 
then G is bipartite if and only if ordinary and symbolic powers are equal for all is greater than or equal to 2. So here we need the assumption that V plus D, vertices of V plus D are sync. Then similar result of semis holds here as well. And uh, we have also seen that if we are in a star graph, in that case also the symbolic powers and ordinary powers are equal. So this gives uh, the equality of symbolic and ordinary powers for certain classes of graph, which in sometimes gives the necessary and sufficient conditions also. And um, still the description of the symbolic power uh, in general, it is not known for weighted oriented graphs. And um, uh, there are uh, many questions which are still open in this area. And uh, that's all I would like to say. So these are the references. Thank you.